All right, welcome back. I'm King of Baden. Today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, I didn't really end the last video, kind of just let it fade to black, didn't I? But oh well. As I said before, I edited it to fade to black. Anyways, we're back. Uh, we got to take Blue Blood off the team. He caught a scar last match. He didn't take two. No, he did almost die. He almost died from a grenade. Um. I don't think there's much else happening here. Running low on a lot of the materials, actually. Right now, he's doing a drive to lower down, to lower down, to bring down all of the unrest in each district. This, what does this give us? An epic submachine gun. This one down here will give us two days towards the reveal, 50 credits, 30 intel. And this one just gives us an epic submachine gun. And minus two on rest in this district. And this district is finna take over. I think if it takes over now, it's gonna go into our city anarchy. So I probably will take on this mission just for that issue. This one's gonna take up to be full, but I don't think that's gonna be as bad right now. Hopefully we don't get an anarchy event there. We have to we've been having to deal with quite a few of those. It's gonna make items available. We should have quite a few things since we're pretty much built towards uh we the scope. We're built towards no towards blue blood's abilities. Uh hollow scanner, that's fine. We'll give her we'll give her region weave. And a nano med kit. And that's everything that she can even hold. I guess just because we have it. We'll give you the advanced extended magazine. But I uh, hit my desk. But Overall, we should be fine. All we really got to do was divide up uh, Blue Blood's materials among everyone else. But since we only switched out, so we switched out for someone who doesn't use a gun, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Hostiles at this location have a special weapon. All right. It's only one breach. Enemies deal plus one damage during the breach, but he might be able to panic some of those enemies. And you'll use Hollow Scan here, then Torque, then Zephyr. Follow me. All right, 75% chance to hit this dude. If we hit him, he's gonna die. Pretty good chances to kill. Yep, all right. These commandos don't seem to be too bad. They like the runts, even though their names suggest a higher, um, a higher prestige, I guess. Who's in here? Chrysalid, another Chrysalid, a uh, uh, Necromancer, and then this bomber. I'm gonna go for the bomber. Yeah, I'm going to go for the bomber. They're going to be poisoned now, too. I'm going to leave the bomber alone to see how far he gets poisoned. And instead, I'm going to go for... Is there another, like, humanoid thing in here? The necromancer. Yeah, I'm going to go for the necromancer instead. That does leave Zephyr out in the open for a while, at least until it gets to her turn. Uh, but I don't think she's going to take too much damage between now and then, though. We have to get this Necromancer, too. Go ahead and psych up. And hopefully he won't start glitching stuff out again. I did get up. I didn't record this back to back necessarily. I did get up and um do something else between between these two. But it is still glitching for him. Because, like, I'm clicking and it's not not doing it. I'm going to fire the weapon. Right now, if I go back to Smash... Okay. Number three is this necromancer. They have the submachine gun, I believe it is, right? Go on, get out of here. Vanessa, you ran straight to two teammates, so it should be fine. I did leave him out of the open there with that, but I didn't expect spectral zombies. But this also makes sense because that's generally what they're gonna do. Now it's Patchwork's turn. I'm gonna have her use Chaining Jolt. Go ahead and take out the bomber. Just so he can't drop a bomb on us or something like that. And this Chris is probably gonna run up and forgot that they attack in it. Or not enemies, but um. Poison spit here. 
I forgot that the crystals will Still attack on. civilians. Take a deep breath. And most of the stuff in there is immune to poison. All right, with well, tongue pull and necromancy. I've got you. And then go ahead and bind them up. So I think it's gonna take them out immediately, anyways. And now we have secured the item that we came for. Crucial symmetry. Uh, flesh wound. That's, not That's a mess good. right there. Okay, who's next? The number four. So go for the number four, dude. You have the hazmat steel, I believe. Target out of play. Put you in parry just in case we can't take out this uh chrysalid cocoon before our turn. The cocoon's gonna go before two. Take the shotgun and shoot that thing. Hostile off the board. Thank you. Now, instead of trying to shoot this thing, I'm gonna put it in stasis. So I don't think her weapon's gonna kill it. Yeah, this won't kill it. I know Axiom's gun can. We're gonna put this thing in stasis. Freezing target. And I don't think that's gonna make it um it would just uh yeah, let me shoot this thing. If I did it that way, it might not register that it's moving in that point or whatever. And then you can just go ahead and shoot. Now in my head, I was gonna get a perfect for this, but I didn't because I didn't realize that uh actually I'm taking any damage, but we're pretty close to a perfect victory. Still was an excellent one though. I was hoping to not have a uh, critical situation on that one zone that's going to take over to being uh, full of unrest. When you haven't been to Riverside, you owe it to yourself to experience the city, to experience City W1's most popular district. Take a river's riverboat dinner cruise, explore the historic shop untouched by occupation, or dance the night away at, our, at over a dozen clubs. City 31 tours, tours on council, according to the to what's fun 31 2040 edition <clears throat> Oof, 2040 edition something like a smoker out of nowhere here at burger palace we want everyone to enjoy our food that's why we've kept it simple it all starts with our patties ranked a seven on the cross species consumability index but that's not good enough for our customers so we inject each patty with a flavor bulb of your choice when it fully gestates, you're ready to see how we turn each seven into a ten. Burger Palace. New name, new process, same great taste. Okay, so we got two promotions here. One for Zephyr and one for Torque, my two favorite characters. Uh, oh, Torque is now fully upgraded too. Torque rears up and swiftly strikes an adjacent target with a devastating bite, dealing major damage and applying poison. All right. And then we have Zephyr in her upgrade or promotion. Now we have moving momentum is also triggered by subdue and crowd control and Zephyr does not trigger overwatch or reaction fire. Melee attacks will ignore armor. See, I've never run into an issue where I feel like she's not doing enough damage only against the Praetorian who gain armor consistently the whole time. But since we've already taken out the Praetorians, this is even a this is more of a good choice. And I already took it last time too. And I know that it's pretty good. I just don't see an issue with how much damage she does through armor. I think she goes with like four or five damage. She's consistently doing four or five damage, I know. At least fours. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one too, which would apply an effect. Momentum also triggers by subdue and crowd control. So yeah, I think that's gonna be better for us to take. Um, what do we have going on? We're only 11 minutes into this one. Of a warehouse fire or get more lyrium. Right now we have enough Illyrium to get Mastercrafted whatever we want. Kind of want to go for Mastercrafted Armor next, I think. But I'll cry 125 Illyrium. Or I can go for the Mastercrafted Pistols. 
we have a more diverse team this time when it comes to weapons i think last time we we had a lot of shotguns last time because we had claymore uh godmother and axiom and then we had what one sub on two assaults or something like that i don't know we have more subs this time though because i know twerk carries a sub terminal carries one i believe shelter is also carrying one shelter is unlocking its potential to get the extra hp not no that's mobility increased by two all right i think we're sitting on a bunch of intel right now it's friday we didn't get the scavenger market today we're still gonna go ahead and get this extra intel uh 33 on pd thinks this to a string of similar fires they believe in arson to cover up a burglary leave it's arson to cover up a burglary city anarchy has risen again because this when one I first gained my abilities mutant minds felt very different yeah before the elders fused us with human dna we were brutes do you remember what it was like vaguely i have general impressions but nothing more sort of like a muscle memory back then our brains were almost entirely muscle so yes that's apt shot grenade flux weave i don't want either of those things so i'm not gonna miss out when i don't do this mission because i have to take care of this do when people request all hands to help contain an outbreak in this district get there fast and contain the threat i'll update you as we have more information um we need these upgraded field teams to come a little faster We have a shit ton of money though the scavenger market's here too this is is this a submachine gun uh mutant engineer converted this assault rifle for a rapid distribution that phrase we now know refers to its ammunition and then 75 illyrium cash i'll go for this one just so we have another epic weapon in rotation on the team uh his mobility is up uh go ahead and put shelter in for basic conditioning now too and then soon he'll be back on the team but for now we do need to take care of this outbreak we'll be able to bring down the city unrest or the unrest in this district once this is done which will be once we finish this mission uh it's only one encounter again so it shouldn't be too bad it's probably gonna finish up the episode i'll go straight into the next one i'm just trying to get this done like xcom done Ooh, that's a new way to pull up i think at least that Civilians background was different danger. keep them safe anyways uh last one through the entrance is guaranteed to land their shots next team has a ceasefire bomb who has you have it don't you you do and zephyr can come through with a hollow scanner patchwork can lead in with the med or the others her scan as well and then we'll make her come in last because I know some machine guns just have a worse aim like from the basics. Throwing grenade. We have a lot of berserkers in here too. Okay, that's done. A lot of a lot of uh simple shots going on now. The commander should be able to be killed by a teammate later. Trooper and android. Let's go for the trooper. The berserk is in the back there too. We have a hundred percent chance on the berserker. Eighty-four on the commando though. All right, they're taken out. And finally, let's spit on a berserker if we can. Yeah, just so they'll be draining de their health every time they get a turn, so we don't have to deal with that health a uh, hundred percent on our own. I was hoping that would take out the trooper. Doesn't look like it was able to though. We're taking cover by a car, which I'm definitely about to move away from. Uh, first we use Psycho. Up. Then we use Smash on. We use Smash on them because they have more health right now, and we managed to shut them down as well too. So it's gonna skip their turn. It's gonna go for this dude who has one health. And hopefully he doesn't shoot at a civilian, which I think he's going to anyways. Come here. No? Alright. Come here? 
now. All right. So first, I'm gonna move over here and clear this civilian out. Get a move on. And we have to save three more, or we can only allow three more civilians to die. And there are uh, quite a few civilians left here. Who's the number two person? Doesn't look like we can reach them. Splintering. Target out of play. You do good work. Let me clear some of these civilians out, especially ones that are closer to these berserkers, because I know they're just gonna rush them anyways. Head down and move. Number two is the purifier. Why did you move? Why are y'all moving like, like that? that? First, you're gonna move up to Heading here. Down. Next time, faster. Use team up. Use team up with on Torque. That way, she can move away from this explosion without to take this damage. Now, move Torque over to this uh, this civilian first, and I think that's gonna clear us to where we don't have to worry about losing because of civilian death. Now we could use chaining jolt on like a berserker. We use we'll try for the number three berserker, especially since they're closer to all those enemies as well. Our teammates as well. No, civilians. We did manage to stun it, so that's exactly what I was looking for. It's gonna blow. And you can Firstly, you can clear this. Damn, that's a dash? That's annoying. Can you tongue pull them? Okay, well, we'll put you in cover right here, which should also clear that clear that civilian. Cower yep. Flee. Your choice. They're stunned and poison. I think we don't have to worry about them as much. The explosion just went off and we're still good. They didn't go for the civilian, which isn't necessarily bad. And neither of them got their turn, so that's also not too bad either. You have used Psych Up. Who wants some? And they use Smash. You smash from right here. Neighbor. It's gonna do plus two damage now because he's enraged. This dude came back online. I think it's pretty a activate this level destruct and then they trigger it immediately okay never mind you just got the luckiest shot off across the map with a shotgun but there's only one civilian left so we'll be fine no matter what happens at this point Fast as I can. right now we're using this uh crowd control effect they're rooted so they won't be able to move although i think they're immune to rooting is what it looked like it had for a second and we can't make it to that civilian so I'll just move over to this area of the map transferring not long now interesting i guess these two aren't grouped up enough for him to want to do anything and then his teammates are right here it's the only thing i can think of for why he didn't just try and hit us We'll go for a stun or disorientated effect on them now. And it's also going to chain that damage over to the purifier and the android as well. All right. And the android was red, but it did not chain to them. I don't think that's the worst case scenario, though. Because we can still use poison spit, which isn't going to do anything to the... You may feel a slight sting. It's not going to do anything to that android, actually. Or the... Fuck, I forgot it doesn't do anything to the purifier. But that does mean we don't have to worry about the wait okay that does mean we don't have to worry about the um the berserker on its turn because it's gonna die either way even if it wasn't stunned it would have died don't struggle this one's gonna die from that uh you can move away now incoming and then fire your weapon. 71% chance, but it looks like. Target killed. 
Never mind. I thought the car was gonna blow up with the shot anyways. I don't know why that one just blew up. I don't think anyone's even shot through that one. Let's go and hit them and see if we can get another effect on them. Oh. What does have you parry in place? They're bound so they don't get their turn. Move her over here. She should be able to get a chaining jolt on that berserker and take it out. Chaining jolt on the berserker. Shocking hostile. So that's gonna be fine. Go on. Fought from the rear. And then they're bound, so they're not gonna do anything either. Is that a yeah? All right, cool. Right, so we got two flawless victories this time. Uh, almost ended the episode right there. Just went straight into the hold. Thanks for watching. Blah blah blah. That thing. Due to the decay of most standing structures, we recommend avoiding Old Town as a tourist destination. City services are expected to remain limited or non existent or non existent until twenty forty four. For a taste of the old world memorabilia, why not try the, the shops at the Hi at Highland Square? All the details without the danger. City thirty one tourist council. Been a lot going into the tourist council right now. It looks like uh Claymore finished his um his spec ops mission. So we got that done. Axiom has a promotion now too. Let's see what we get for him. We're getting promotions a lot faster in this one, I've noticed too. Maybe it's because I'm keeping the same people on team for longer or what? Or the harder difficulties between one of those two. Axiom has a chance to reduce the damage from it from an incoming attack to one. Stroganoff came in pretty good handy, especially when I was playing by myself to finish that mission. I never noticed anything upgrade smash to apply a small amount of damage to nearby enemies. The extra targets also have a chance to become disoriented, stunned, or rendered unconscious. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for shrug it off. Because when it starts coming down to the wire, if we start getting a few shrug it offs and he's only taking one damage instead of like the normal five or six that he might from getting shot at, that's gonna be way better than dealing a little bit of extra damage to stuff that's next to where he is. Anyways, let's change the armor tin color. I never did like the uh I never liked the pink anyways. I like I think this white looks a little better. Mostly plain, but still better than pink. I guess now we could go for the enhanced shotguns. We don't have enough um Illyrium to do anything with besides it. Or I could just hold on to the Illyrium and go for something that's not gonna cost that. There's a sighting scope. Yeah, we might as well start going for these shotguns because since we can't afford anything else. Uh, I'm going to grab the Illyrium because I know that I need it. Where our anarchy is starting to get pretty high too. Uh, yeah, go ahead and get this, get some more Illyrium. Running low on credits too. Let's get something else going in spec ops. Let's get spec ups going on more money. Put terminal in this time, begin. This is his last day for the training. So I said I was gonna get the Illyrium, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We tracked the stone on Aloe and provided the information to City 31 who made the bust. The manufacturers are has rewarded us with our for our assistance. Sacred Coil plans to steal combat grade androids from the source. Make sure it doesn't happen. All right. Yeah, that was weird. I saw its tongue stick out a little bit. Didn't notice it till it was almost over. No secret. Cross species food can be dangerous. So, how does Burger Palace ensure the safety of its customers? Simple. Each flavor bulb contains markers keyed to the species who can consume it. Once cooked into the patty, physical contact with the inappropriate species triggers the patty's flight response. We call it our compatibility guarantee. If you can't eat it, it'll let you know. Burger Palace. New name, new safeguards, same great taste. 
So I want to put uh, Shelter back in the team because I want to see more about him. Twerk is fully leveled up, so I guess I'll swap her out. That does make the most sense. We still have a shit ton of intel. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this one to be a fully leveled field team and then start working on level two all across the board. Just wanted that one level three so we can use Dragonet now. And this is the one that I'm going to do. So I might as well upgrade this. And I have 80 left, which I don't think is going to let me upgrade anything else. Yes, it will. Cool. And I don't, I shouldn't even check what this is. Epic submachine gun, which would be useful, but I don't need this to go any higher because if it goes higher. Then we're going to start building even more anarchy and our anarchy is getting out of hand right now. So in the next episode, we're going to start this mission. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm King of Baden. You can follow me in all my other, uh, in all my other descriptions on all my other social medias that are in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.